Hello guys, I'm Adriana and today we'll see this water damage iPhone 11, how we fix it in our workshop. In today's video we'll see the complete process to save this device. Here is the first tip to increase its chances of survival. When your device gets wet, try to disconnect the battery connector as soon as possible. This step can make the difference between saving it or not. As you can see, when you received a water damaged iPhone in our workshop, the first thing we do is disconnect the battery connector. Here you can see how the screen is damaged. Guys, in today's video, with the help of Leonardo, we are going to see if we can find a solution for this device damaged by humidity. The next step is to remove the screws from the motherboard and to remove the protective sheet. We are going straight to the point with the process. I always said, time is gold, so we have to take less time editing the video and you get the essence of the repair. At this point, we carefully remove the motherboard. The next step is to analyze all the components under the microscope. Here, this 8PC connector shows corrosion. As I said, visual inspection is very important. This other connector also shows signs of corrosion. We can see that many areas show signs of corrosion. Honestly, this doesn't worry me because during the time we've saved hundreds and hundreds of devices in worse condition. At this point we are going to remove the foam protection from the motherboard. In this way we can inspect it more deeply. If you are a beginner in the mobile repair, take note of all these steps until your level gradually increases. Remember, everything in life is achieved little by little, experience is gained by practicing day after day. We can observe that under the foam protection there is more corrosion. Surely some component has burned out. To be sure, all areas must be cleaned, even removing the resin that shows signs of humidity. Here we can observe that the water has reached the lower part of the motherboard, most likely that the two motherboards need to be separated. If you have problems with an iPhone motherboard, here I leave you the link for a free review. You only have to pay the shipping cost and you have to know that we work throughout the national territory in Spain. So, to clean these connectors, I use anti-static tweezers, a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. You can also use isopropyl alcohol. But personally, I prefer the contact cleaner because of the protective oil that it contains. If we can't clean the components with cotton, we can use a brush. Below, in the description of this video, I leave you these brushes for cleaning water damaged devices.
With the help of the tip of the scalpel, we are going to see what's under the resin. All components must always be thoroughly cleaned. The truth is, we could have any capacitor in the short circuit. This capacitor is burned and must be removed, then after checking the device it must be replaced it with the new one. This is how all the connectors and all the areas with corrosion must be cleaned. In these cases, we have to separate the two motherboards. We always have to see if the inside shows corrosion. To separate the motherboards, I use this tool, which has a working temperature of about 220 Celsius degrees. In the video description, I'm going to leave the purchase link for this tool. 80% of our tools come from AliExpress. I leave you the best suppliers we use. If you like this type of content, please give it a strong like and share it in your groups. Add value to your acquaintances and strangers and in this way you'll grow because the good things you do always come back. Thank you. From 220 Celsius degrees we can separate the two motherboards. I'll always tell you this trick. To properly separate the motherboards and not to break any pads, you have to remove the upper motherboard gently and not to apply pressure. The next step is to cool the motherboard using a computer ventilator. Normally, the cost of this kind of repair is between 100 and 130 euros depending on the damage and we will always communicate the budget to our customer. Now we'll use the laboratory power supply to see the consumption of site A. We turn on the motherboard and we wait. It seems that the motherboard stays at 100 million periods and then it drops. Any consumption, any humidity damage can cause this. Now we go to the microscope and thoroughly inspect the area. At first appearance we have very superficial signs of humidity that they must be cleaned with contact cleaner. Now we need to observe the other motherboard to look for signs of humidity. 
For this reason you need to have a good microscope. In our workshop we've got two AMSCOPE microscopes of good quality and a professional camera optics cam. The truth is that in less than a week each microscope was amortized. In the video description I will leave you some purchase links. After a little cleaning we check the device again, it only has small areas of corrosion, nothing serious. For this reason the device might have been stuck. Remember that in electronics 1 plus 1 does not always equal 2. We can observe that the motherboard turns on perfectly. For soldering the motherboards I like to use this top, get it from Aliexpress. In this way the bolts won't join together and will have a fixed distance between the two motherboards. There are easy way to solder and I like to place between 4 and 6 pads. Here you can see their function, it's practically like a separator between the two motherboards. The next step is to join the two motherboards using the same tool. Just apply a little flux to improve the soldering. For soldering we use the same temperature between 210 and 220 Celsius degrees. This is the screen that can be saved. We can see that it's completely burned. Too much water got inside. After soldering the two motherboards, they must be thoroughly cleaned.
Before assembling the motherboard in the chassis, it must be checked with the laboratory power supply. For the check, we always use a test screen. In the, our workshop, we have a test screen for all the models. In this way, we manage to save dozens and dozens of water damage devices. The trick is the discipline we employ in all the work done. Now, with the help of the wipe and contact cleaner, the chassis and other parts must be cleaned. Normally, when an Apple device is water damaged, the Face ID gets damaged as well. The Face ID has very thin cables, I would say 10 times thinner than the human hair, so it's very easy to show circuit due to the humidity. Here above, I'm leaving you a video on how we easily repair the Face ID using this machine. In the description of this video, you can find all these tools that we get it from AliExpress. And finally, we have to check all the function of this device. Guys, here is Leonardo. This was today's video. Thank you for watching us and see you next time. Bye bye.